Hello guys, today I am going to show you, how to create this simple and professional photo slideshow, inside the Adobe Premiere Pro. Let's see a quick preview of this animation. This video is sponsored by GoDeal24. GoDeal24 provides the latest software, Windows 11, Microsoft Office, Windows Server, and more. You can purchase this software at a discount price. GoDeal24 is a rapidly increasing online store, which sells software and games at low prices. You can check out GoDeal24 under the description link. Now let's see how to do this photo slideshow inside the Premiere Pro. So first make a new sequence, let's call it Photo Slideshow. Now select your photos, and drag them to the timeline. Zoom in the timeline. Then mark all of the timeline photos. Hold on Alt key, and drag them one track above. Now disable the top layer. Then deselect the images, and select the first image of the bottom layer. Now move over to the Effects tab, and search for Gaussian Blur. Apply this effect to the first image on the bottom layer. Then go to the Effect Controls tab. Under the Gaussian Blur effect, set the blurriness 500, and enable Repeat Edge Pixels. Now select the Gaussian Blur effect, click Ctrl plus C to copy this effect. Now select all the other images, bottom track of the timeline, then click Ctrl plus V to paste the effect. So you can see the Gaussian blurriness effect is applied to all other images. Now enable the top layer. And select the first image of the top layer. Then make the scale size around 70. And make a keyframe on it. Now move few frames forward. And set the scale size 75. So it'll make a simple zoom animation. To make this animation more smooth, right click on the first keyframe, and select ease out. Then right-click on the second keyframe, and select Ease In. Now move them to the beginning and end of the timeline. Then click on the motion, and click Ctrl plus C to copy this animation. Now select all the other images to the top layer. And click Ctrl plus V to paste the animation. So now you can see the same zoom in animation, on every photo. For the next step, move to the Effects tab, and search for Radial Shadow and apply this effect to the first image on the top layer. Then go to the Effect Controls tab. Then under the Radial Shadow effect, increase the opacity 100%. And set the projection distance to 4. Enable Resize layer. Change the shadow color to white. Now edit the light source until the borders are the same on all the sides. OK, it's perfect for this photo. Next, we are going to apply another effect, it's called Drop Shadow and apply this effect to the first image on the top layer. Move over to the effect controls. Then under the drop shadow effect, increase the distance and the softness. So it will make a nice drop shadow under the photo. Then again do the same thing, copy these effects, and paste them to the other images. And first make sure to select the radial shadow effect, then hold on the control key, and select the drop shadow effect. Click control plus C to copy these effects and mark the other images of the top layer, and click Ctrl plus V to paste these effects. Now you can see the other photos have a white border and the drop shadow. For the next step, we are going to apply our last effect, which is called Basic 3D. Apply this to the first image on the top layer. Then go to the Effect Controls tab. Under the Basic 3D effect, set Swivel Value 4 degrees. And set the Tilt Video minus 4. Then make keyframes on swivel and tilt. Then move few frames forward. Change the swivel value minus 4. And change the tilt value 4. Now mark these first two keyframes, make them ease out. And make the last two keyframes ease in. Then move these keyframes at the beginning and end of the timeline. So it will make this nice 3D animation. Then again copy this effect and paste it to the other images. Select this effect, click Ctrl plus C to copy. 
Mark the other images of the top layer. Then click Ctrl plus V to paste this effect. So now you can see this 3D animation of all the images. And the last step, we are going to add a transition between the two images. Move over to the Effect tab, and search for Slide Effect. Now simply drag and apply this effect between these two images. Apply it to the bottom track as well. So as you can see, it slides to the next photo. Also, you can change the slide direction, so select this slide effect, and move to the Effect Controls tab. Then click on any triangles you want to change the direction. In my case, I'm going to select the top triangles, and do the same thing to the bottom track. And that's it, let's apply the slide transition to the next image. Thanks for watching, if you like this animation, please give a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you in the next one, have a nice day.